Raj, close the tap. Do not waste water. Finish brushing your teeth and come for breakfast. Ria is... Uh, Ria? Where are you going? Have you finished eating your breakfast? Nothing is tasty. I do not like to eat breakfast. What are you going to do with the food on your plate? I am going to throw it into the dustbin. Hmm, Ria, isn't it bad to waste food like this? It is very sad to see Raj wasting water and you wasting food. Neither of you love our friend. Who is this new friend you are talking about, Dad? I am talking about nature, our friend. Nature, our friend? Dad, I do not understand what exactly you are talking about. Children, don't we eat food every day? We drink plenty of water. We wear clothes to protect ourselves from cold and winds. Raj, answer me. Can we live without food, water and clothes? No, we cannot. These things are necessary for our living. Therefore, we call them needs. We get these things from nature. So, we say nature is our friend. That sounds interesting. Will you explain how we get these things from nature? We use cotton for making clothes. Cotton is grown on farms. Where do we get wool from? We use wool for making sweaters. Wool is obtained from sheep. We get water from springs, lakes and rivers. We use metals like aluminium and copper for making pots and pans. We get these metals from minerals found in the earth. Wood is used for making furniture. Wood is obtained from trees. So you see, cotton, wool, water, metals, wood, etc. are resources. They are obtained from nature. So, we call them natural resources. Our life depends on these natural resources. Hmm, I think it would be better if we go for a nature walk and try to understand natural resources like water, land, oceans, forests and animals. That is a great idea. Water is very important for man, animals, birds and plants. We use water for drinking, bathing, washing clothes, cleaning vessels, agriculture and industries. We should use water carefully. We should take maximum care so that it does not get polluted or wasted. Plants need soil for their growth. Soil is formed on land. Soil supports the roots of the plants. Plants need nutrients for their growth. They get these nutrients from soil. Many insects and small animals live on land. We grow crops like rice, wheat, pulses, vegetables, fruits, etc. on land. The bricks we use for building houses 
are made of clay. Potters use clay to make pots. Villagers use clay to build houses. Metals like iron, gold, silver, copper, etc. are obtained from minerals. Even the chalk sticks, the pencils we use for writing are made from minerals found on the earth. We dig out various minerals from the earth. Is the sea a natural resource also? A major part of the earth is covered by salty water. The huge water bodies around the earth are called oceans. The smaller water bodies are called seas. We get fish and crabs from the sea. They are used as our food. They are also used for preparing medicines and fertilizers. Salt which adds taste to our food is also obtained from the sea. Oceans are used as waterways for transporting goods and people. We also obtain several minerals from the ocean. Sometimes we see many trees, bushes, climbers, creepers and grass together in this area. Such an area is called a forest. Dad, how are forests useful to us? Forests are a home of wild animals and birds. We get wood, fruits, flowers, gum, medicinal plants, honey, etc. from forests. We should not cut down trees and forests. Instead, we should plant and grow more trees. Why, Papa? Forests help us in many ways. Air becomes cool because of forests. The roots of plants hold the soil together. This prevents the soil getting washed away by running water. Forests are also called resources. Rhea, did you know that animals are also natural resources? Really, I didn't, Papa. Please tell me how. The animals in our surroundings can be divided into two types. They are domestic animals and wild animals. Animals such as cows, bullocks, buffaloes, hens and dogs are reared at home. They are all called domestic animals. What about wild animals? Animals like tigers, lions, elephants, rabbits, deer, etc. live in forests. They are all called wild animals. Various birds like peacocks, partridges, eagles, falcons, etc. also live in forests. We should protect these birds and animals. We should also protect their shelters. We get milk, meat, eggs, wool, leather, etc. from domestic animals. Bullocks are used for ploughing fields and for pulling the carts. Horses, mules and donkeys are used for carrying loads. Animals are useful to us in many ways. So, we call animals also as resources.
How do animals help us? Papa, it was a wonderful and useful nature walk. We got lot of information on resources like water, land, oceans, forests and animals. We have learned earlier that geographical information can be shown on maps. Can you explain how these resources are shown on a map? Look at this map. This map shows the sources of water in Greater Mumbai. Let us see that. Tulsi, Pawai and Vihar are the lakes found in Greater Mumbai. These lakes supply drinking water to the city. Mumbai also gets water from Vaitarna and Surya projects in Thani. The water from these projects is used for domestic and industrial purposes. Mumbai is surrounded by sea on three sides. Marine wealth like salt, shells, fish, mineral oil and cooking gas are obtained from the sea near Mumbai. You have only seen high buildings and traffic in Mumbai. Do you know that this city also has forest resources? Look at this map. This map shows the forest resources available in Greater Mumbai. There are forests around Kanheri Hills and Burivli. The Sanjay Gandhi National Park is located here. Trees are conserved in hanging gardens. There are trees in the area around Pawai, Vihar and Tulsi Lakes. In the film city at Goregaon and in some areas in Baikala, Mahim and Dadar. Tivri forests are seen on the west and east coast of North Mumbai. Mangroves are found in the creeks of Gorai, Manori, Malad and Mahim and in the marshy creek areas of Mulund, Kanjurmarg, Vikroli and Mankhurt. Why are mangroves found in the creek? Mangroves protect the coastal areas from sea waves. What type of animals are found in Mumbai? Animals like leopards, fox, deer, hare, etc. are found in the forests of Canary Hills and in the Sanjay Gandhi National Park. In winter, partridges, parrots, minas, etc are seen in the forest areas and flamingos can be seen at Siri and Mankut Creeks. Papa, has anything been done for the conservation of trees and animals in Greater Mumbai? Of course. The government maintains the Sanjay Gandhi National Park mainly to conserve the forests and the animals in Greater Mumbai. A bird sanctuary has been developed at Mahim. Recently, a snake park has been developed in this sanctuary. Papa, what can we do to conserve these resources? Don't forget, do not waste water. Do not waste food because nature is our friend.